What is going on guys? It's Texas Tactics back and we got Fishing Southeast Texas here with us. We're about to do a unboxing 153 at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. And I need to bust the unboxing tackle warehouse order because I've already gotten into it. Too impatient to do this. So into it, let's actually start out with what is on me right now. I actually picked up one of these t-shirts. They're like $10 off of uh, Tackle Warehouse. I think I have a couple of these couple of shirts in here. Uh, I'm just going to start out with what's on the top of the box. So we have Plano boxes. I love these boxes. They have the unique latch that I have seen to understand that is a more efficient boxes like because a lot of those older boxes the latches break on these are a lot stronger and more durable these boxes are only $2.99 on Tackle Warehouse so two Plano boxes Casitas Steam Steamy 150 HG 7 to 1 to 1 gear ratio if I'm correct and I just have the box there's nothing in it it's actually on the rod I have never had an Abu Garcia and this generation 3 Revo STX HS is $200 retail. Tackle Warehouse has these on sale for $160, so I picked up one of these. Just trying it out. I fished with it today, and they seem really smooth. I mean, it was a lot. It was really windy, so I didn't really get to really test the reel out to its full potential. But here is the Revo Generation 3. Garcia I'm out. I never have had an Abu Garcia. I've always had oh, Shimano. Like, like and and co I've had Concepts. I've had Shimano's. What else do I have I had? Quantum. <laughs> oh my gosh. Long time ago, I picked up a $25 Quantum reel. It is the most trash reel in the world. It was probably like the lowest value. It was like on sale at Walmart. And we thought we were getting this <laughs> reel. <laughs> Okay, so I got the promo. Oh, no, this is the long sleeve one you have to pay an extra $5 for. And it's a navy blue with gray and white tackle warehouse. And we have the short sleeve promo. I'm pretty sure they do it by the month. I'm not sure how they do that. I get, every time I spend $2, I get a t-shirt. I think mean, it's free, so why not? The expensive tackle warehouse sticker. And this actually came with the Casitas for free. It is 60, excuse me. Shh, I'm sorry. I already told y'all, but my family is sleeping and we are literally doing this right in the kitchen. And my, our house is very small. I need to knock this out. So I got Power Pro. Oh, nice, they messed that up. 20 pound test. I definitely asked for 65 pound weight. Well, it's 20 pound weight. Well, that was jacked up. I, it's 300 yards, though. So, anybody wants that, comment below. I'm so not to you. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. He's a psych with your boy. Now let's move to the setups. We have got three setups, actually. Two of them came in. One of them is going to be on April 13th. So I'm not even going to make a video about it. It is a Tarantist. Go get it. I actually have it right there. It's blue. I, I bought two of them because they're so... So steamy. It is this rod here. Oh my god, I'm gonna be coming in here with this. Oh my It is the Castaway Tarantus. This is the only blue rod Castaway has. And I have fell in love with the seven foot mag heavy. Um, it's been it holds up really well. It's very durable. It's got enough backbone to set 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 a hook. Hook set a 16 pounders, so if you ever like really need a point. No, I've got a lot of big fish off this rock. Picked up the Pal Inferno. I have Aaron, my fishing partner, actually has a couple of these and I fell in love with him and I just haven't had the time to go and pick me up one and I was pretty stoked about getting these. They are I love them, I love them. I've used them multiple times with Aaron. And this is the 7.3 Heavy, pretty much plain Jane. If you need to buy a rod and you're looking to buy a rod for bass fishing, throw a 7.3 Heavy, 7.3 Medium Heavy, get after it. I mean, that's your all-around rod. I have the Casitas on it, the 150 HG. It's 7 to 2 to 1 gear ratio, by the way. And I have 
14 pound Seaguar floor carbon on there. I actually did buy that on there, but I lost the box somewhere. I think I threw it away because I was actually fishing. So, going with 7.3, steamy. This rod is $99 and the Casitas is $129. To the square bill rod, I needed a square bill rod. I'm not, I don't have one and I needed to pick one up. It is a seven foot medium glass rod. It's got a lot of flexibility in it so you can, whenever you catch a fish on the square wheel, you can keep it pinned up and you don't have to worry about the, sh the fish shaking the hooks. So, good tool to have in your arsenal. Throw a heavy fluorocarbon on square bill rods because you're going to be throwing around stumps, grass, you're going to be ripping out of grass, so you're going to have to need that really strong line to be able to obtain the terrain that you're going to be throwing it in. So this with this reel, I think I've already said it once, but it's very, very smooth when I'm casting. It's amazing, but I don't know how long it's going to hold up. Because I know these Shimano's hold up, but I don't know about these Abu Garcia's yet. We're going to have to give that little test. Go check out Fishing Southeast Texas. He doesn't I'll do videos some. anymore. He might do. I'll post some. We lost the video of the four pounder. Me and John went bass fishing the other day and he caught a four pounder and hooked into another four pounder and I lost a pretty decent fish on a frog and it really, I couldn't estimate the the weight of the fish he jumped and I oh, got yeah. a glimpse of him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I lost all the footage to that. So. That was, that was lovely. I want to know if y'all like me getting prepared to go fishing or you would rather me just jump into the fishing because I've had a lot of controversy. Controversy. Con controversy. Controversy. Yes, controversy. Controversy over some people like the preparing and getting in the mood of going fishing and some people just want to see what how we were fishing and how to fish rather than us just going fishing and enjoying it. Not as a TV show, more as a learning channel. So, if you would, please, I hate saying leave a comment because everybody says that, but do something. Let me know. I don't care. Email. Email. Keep <laughs> Instagram. Yeah. Tweet them. Yeah, check out my Instagram. Texas underscore tactics. So, that's it. I'm going to try to walk you through shortly of uh, everything I got because I know this video is kind of long so I'm going to try to go as quick as possible. Okay, so Plano boxes. The large Plano boxes got four of these for $7 right here. They were all bundled up in a big box in Academy. The Academy section busted those out. Free rod sock. It is for a spinning reel. I do not know how it's going to cooperate on my bait caster. Hopefully it works. I don't know what this is. This lady gave it to us. Looks like rice. Got an Evan Rude koozie. And got some buoys. Got a sweet t-shirt. Free. Given to me at the Academy store. It's a long sleeve. Duck it. Shirt. Sure. There's nothing on the sleeve. It's just that. Kind of slick. John picked up some Carolina rig and stuff for, from this guy. Go check him out. It was pretty, pretty sweet as he explained it to me. Like... It is a Carolina rig. You got the Carolina rig. The weight's here. The hook's here. The weight is a weight. It's hard to explain. It's a weight with a worm hook coming off the weight. Kind of like a jig head or like a shaky head. And you could put crawls on the weight. So this is the money bag. This is the hundred and almost a hundred dollar bag right here. Chatter Frog from Z-Man. She saw this before. I just kind of glanced at it. But this is the first time I actually got one and like looked at it. I don't even know what it looks like in the box. I'm about to take it out. Wow. Okay. So, it's got a bad to the bone trailer on the back. Green and white. Two trailers here. You have a white with green, and you have an all green. And a green, I'm pretty sure it just runs like regular trailer. I don't know if it runs on top or it's a wake bait. I don't know. I don't know. I've never thrown it, so that's going to be a little experiment. All right, the steam, boys. The steam, steamy steam. Always steamy. Got to get the 1.5 KVD square bill. If you don't have this in your box, you can just go home and quit fishing because this is where the money's at. Seven foot glass rod, six six, seven foot, seven two.
depending on what bait you're throwing. Like these, I throw a seven foot glass rod. I actually have an Inferno seven foot glass, 17 or 15 pound fluorocarbon on a the three generation Abu Garcia. So a little juice, a little shad and black top. Another amazing performing crankbait, Storm. This is the three foot diving square bill. I love these square bills. Catch a lot of big fish on these square bills in ponds and even lakes. So check these out. They perform really well with the circuit board bill. Z-Man chatterbait. Another, it's like a shad, black, sartreuse, yellow, and white. These, these are actually weedless. It actually has a weedless guard on it. Unlike this one, this is a regular chatterbait, perch imitation, gold blade, 3 8 ounce, and this is the same, but per or a shad with a weed guard. Okay, I would love to tell you how these perform, but I have no idea. Bought these for three dollars a piece. It was there were it was a three dollar table, a whole bunch of these swim baits, and I had to bust these out. I got three of them. Just like a rainbow trout. I was just going for the the more natural color, and I got like a perch imitation with a little blue with a yellow bottom. And I got the old trusty white shad color. Same thing, 1.5 Sartreuse top with a white bottom, blue on top also. Can't go wrong, cannot go wrong. The old perch with a yellow brown. It's a lot natural color. Love it, love it, love it. Shad, go shad, yellow stripe. Amazing when the shad are busting, when the shad are schooling. And Texas, these shad are a lot smaller than up north and anywhere else so these littler crankbaits are killer. Got the S Waver 120 River to Sea Glide Bait. Busted this out for $8. Bluegill imitation. Don't know a lot about these. Gonna be throwing these around a lot lately. I've been getting a lot of swim baits. Got that Gontrol last week and I'm really gonna try to get into this so I can learn a little bit and then teach y'all something. Rattle traps boy. Black back chrome. Black black Black, black, black back chrome half ounce rattle trap. Summer sexy half ounce rattle trap. Summer sexy half ounce rattle trap. Summer sexy half ounce rattle trap. Fathead minnow half ounce rattle trap. Ice blue shad half ounce rattle trap. Ghost shad half ounce rattle trap. They're always so steamy. Why are they so steamy? Somebody tell me why they're so steamy. River to Sea, the small whopper plopper. So last week, this is a depressing story. Last week, John ties this thing on. I'm like, what the heck is this? Something about a Ned rig. I have no idea what it is. He pulls it out, it's this little weight, and he's got a little tiny Cinco looking thing on it. He put on the back, I'm like, okay, because John's always got these crazy things. You get these tackle. Um, he gets these lucky tackle boxes and there's all these crazy things. He's trying these crazy things in these palms, so I'm just like, okay, whatever. He ties one of these things on. I kid you not, he gets five casts into it, hooks into a four and a half pounder. I am not kidding you. I lost the footage to it. I have no idea how. I knew I was rolling. I saw the camera rolling. I go through the footage and the video is completely gone. It just completely skips over that. The Ned rig, I don't know. I told myself that I was not gonna buy any jigs. And I roll up in there, this guy has this little car. He's like, oh, here, I got a little discount, blah, blah, blah. I got over this booth, so he's just trying to sell it to me. I get over there, I'm like, okay, this is kinda cool. I wanna show you these, these jigs. This is a 3 8 ounce jig. I forget what he calls this, but a trailer on the trailer. This comes off, you can buy these these trailers right here so it's pretty much this jig on this trailer this trailer is what makes it you hook the trailer on the top right here you spool it up you put that on there then you get you a crawl and you put the crawl on there and what this thing does is it just makes a larger profile for the jig so you can have a 3 8 ounce jig with a profile of a 1 ounce jig right there it kind of just like puts like arms on it to where it holds the skirt up. It's it's crazy. Just gives a bigger profile if you're trying to catch those bigger fish whenever the perch or creatures are a lot larger. I got a few colors of these. The half ounce blue and brown that comes with it. 
that you actually put on the back, kind of like how I put that curl on the back. I got a white swim bait, and these kind of look like Kitek swim baits, if you know what these are. They're pretty much Kitek swim baits, they look exactly like it. Same concept, I'm pretty sure this is a half ounce swim bait. Oh no, this is how it works. Look, you hook this cover up trailer on to the hook. You put your crawl, you hook the plastic on there so it's completely weedless. That's what he was telling me. Right there, completely weedless. If you can see that correctly, I can get the skirt right. So you have the, the top trailer, you hook it into the hook, and you put your other trailer on it. Crawfish color jig, 3 8 ounce. Peanut butter and jelly, 3 8 ounce. Here's the, they actually kind of put a hole in it to where you actually don't have to hook the plastic. Got the watermelon red, 